just by listening and reading books you can't become fluent in english so what are the points that i can talk about when it comes to this topic you have to speak 1 minute continuously at least and write down the important points hi everyone my name is shalima and welcome back to my new session of english learning with me so for all the english learners the ultimate goal is to gain fluency in this language am i right i think it's right because people keep complaining that i am listening a lot i am reading a lot i have read so many books but i am not able to become fluent in english so just by listening and reading books you can't become fluent in english you need to speak by now you must be knowing that thing right so in this video i am going to share a technique which can practice in order to become fluent in english fast now what are the advantages of this technique let me share you guys the biggest advantage is that you don't need a partner to practice this okay you can practice this technique by yourself okay this is a big relief i think and it's a cool idea for you guys right because many of you have this issue that you don't have a partner to speak english with right or to practice english with right so now let's talk about the next big advantage you need to invest maximum and maximum 10 minutes to practice this okay now come on everyone everybody has at least 10 minutes time to dedicate to this language because if you want to become fluent in english then you have to give your 10 minutes at least right so now what is this technique let's talk about this technique okay so this is known as jam technique it's stand for just a minute okay it is possible that you have heard about this right so but in this video i am going to demonstrate and i'll show you how you can you know um do it in order to get maximum benefit out of it right so watch this complete video till the very end so guys before i start before i demonstrate and show you i would want to tell you that there are some rules required over here okay which you need to follow to practice this okay so first of all let's understand the rules okay what are the rules right so the first one you have to speak you know uh, speak continuously for 1 minute at least okay maximum 1 minute okay now let's talk about the rule number 2 the rule number 2 when you start doing it you can't use pen or a paper okay you can't write anything down in your notebook or or the paper right only you have to do the practice okay now let's talk about the rule number 3 the rule number 3 is here you can't take pause uh if i can say for more than 3 seconds right yes you can take pause but you can take breath but not more than 3 seconds okay and you need to talk for a complete 1 minute okay you just need keep talking it doesn't matter whether you are talking total nonsense or something irrelevant to the topic okay that you have chosen to speak all right guys it doesn't matter but you need to keep talking till 1 minute at least okay the fourth rule is that you can't repeat the same sentences okay so this is not for the repetition this is something to make you fluent you you just need to uh, just grab the new sentences new words to speak right this technique requires your you know critical thinking and you should use your mind in order to get you know different sentences and different ideas or different words okay so it is not allowed that you keep repeating the same sentences again and again if you are going to repeat the same sentences again and again then you will not get the right word to speak right and you will not enhance your vocabulary also right so now how to practice this technique firstly i you have to choose a topic okay let's say i'll just talk about the topics your hobbies your politics sports history and whatever introduces you right okay or even better okay or you you can choose a questions also See, when you are starting out just choose a question about which you have good knowledge which you have a very simple content in your mind right that topic you have to choose to speak okay and if you are a beginner then you can take a like simpler topic if you are a if you are you know advanced or intermediate speaker then you can just take to the more complex sentences or you can just choose um complex topic you know to speak here i will give you few questions also about which you can talk okay so you can talk about the first one 
and uh, that question number one is what was your last time your fam your whole family got together maybe for a function or for some occasion okay or here you have to you know describe that memory okay uh, the second question which i'm going to share with you which you can just speak on that question the second question is uh, the moment when you were really really proud of yourself okay and the third one uh, why i want to become fluent in english this is the really wonderful topic which you can talk about okay and the next topic if i can just uh, talk about this is my favorite topic and this topic call advantages and disadvantages of social media there are just few more examples guys you can talk about your random topic like describing your childhood your best friend your favorite teacher or from school or college memories okay your best experience of college right the questions are unlimited guys and the topics are also unlimited okay you can choose any topic as per your knowledge okay and you just start practicing it so guys here also you can use the questions to practice your mirror talk or you can record yourself also okay and uh, this is also a solution to people who say that uh, you know you can't uh, talk about any topic right but when it come to a journal conversation you do good so every day you have to pick up a different topics and different talks and different questions to talk about it okay when you will be comfortable talking about any given topic okay then you will become fluent day by day okay but gradually now here i'm going to choose the topic which is advantages and disadvantages of social media and i will do the activity for you in front of you okay right now and i'll show you how you have to do it okay so i'll give you a whole demonstration in front of you how you have to just follow the rules and do these activities right there are at least three stages in which you can practice this technique okay in order to get maximum you know get maximum benefits and you need uh, for this you need a stopwatch or any mobile phone in which you need to start a stopwatch for 1 minute so guys here i have a phone in my hand okay and uh, you can see here i have just placed a timer stopwatch for you know 1 minute uh, let's uh, just add and it has been started and i have choose a topic advantages and disadvantages of social media so guys if i talk about the advantages there are lot many advantages of social media because nowadays everybody is using social media around the world okay and uh, it connects to the person to person okay and we can do the friendship we can talk to the person we can just you know we have a lot more things on social media to do it like we can just grow our business right we can just you know post a video and just earn the money right so these are the benefits of social media if i talk about the disadvantages of social media there are uh, more disadvantages also of a social media because nowadays students if i talk about the students a little small kids are using the phone and using the instagram they had own instagram id and they have made their own handle instagram handle and they have just created a reel and posted so somewhere they are hampering their own studies right so these i think these all are the things which are not good for the students which are not good for the you know uh, like for the small kids right but somewhere the social media is good but if i talk about the disadvantages there are lot many lot many disadvantages of social media also right so here i can see uh, here i have spoke you know 2 minutes more than 2 minutes right this is only 1 minute but i have spoke 2 minutes that's not very easy guys for the beginners but still you can do it okay if you want to become fluent you can do it now let's come on to the second stage like stage number 2 you need one paper and one pen okay and whatever you have spoke earlier just write the main relevant points to that paper then you just take out the points and then write down okay these points because it's better than to remember that right again in the second stage you use these points and 
then speak and now why i am saying this to just select all these points and write it down here on the copy right after speaking let me tell you guys so guys now just write down these all points write down over there on your copy and because you will remember better remember them again in the second stage guys if i talk about the second stage in this in that second stage you have to talk about the same points same topics it is possible that uh, when you talk about second time you will get other ideas about uh these words okay whatever the words you have just chosen from the first topic in the third stage maybe that words will comes to your mind and you will get a different idea to speak right okay one last thing uh, i would like to share with you in the third stage you can do is you can recollect all the things whatever you have written down in the notebook okay and start speaking again for 1 minute okay so here you again you have to stop watch okay and uh, you don't stop uh, while speaking speak as long as much you are getting the thoughts right related to the topic okay just keep talking as much as possible guys if you want you can continue for the fourth stage also okay uh if you have a time if you have a topic if you have a content in your mind okay you can practice to the fourth round also and uh, maybe you have a lot more time so you can do the practice three more rounds you can do right so this was the thing i wanted to share with you all guys if you will be practicing by this super technique every single day you will find a noticeable change in yourself within a one month okay so are you ready to take this challenge i think you are ready to take this challenge for one month if you have taken a challenge from this video then just go in comment box and write down in the comment section that you are going to take a challenge from now onwards okay and if you are not having a partner guys still you can improve your english there is no problem and this is only a myth that i don't have a partner so how i can just do the practice right everyone can do the practice because everybody is coming from you know Uh, is taking birth alone right so you can do the practice alone okay so i think guys you like this video and if you like the video please give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are new on my channel please please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends too so thanks for watching bye bye take care